Okay, everybody, uh, we paraphrased the poem and we looked up the words that we didn't know. Step three in the name and explain chart is to circle the most important word in each section and explain why it is important in the column. So here's the thing. Um, I am on a computer and it's going to be really hard for me to circle the words. So instead of doing that, I'm going to highlight the words and then you can circle them on your paper but we'll talk about why they're important together. So the first thing I'm gonna circle, or highlight, I guess, is raining. Oops, I just meant to do the first part, but it is raining. Um, and I'm going to say shadow. Look at me, awesome at highlighting. There we go. Um, and actually, I'm going to do groups of words and cheat. I'm going to say per, well, jeepers creepers. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I'm going to say perfectly silent. Um, I guess I could say silent, but I'm going to go perfectly silent and just be rogue. And I'm going to say somewhere else. Whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy cabooses. I want to highlight somewhere else. And I'm going to say empty loft. And the word skeleton. And I'm going to say arrows, a barb of wire, expulsions, and forbidding. And I'm going to hit raining again because it's repeated. And really, I'm doing this whole, look at me, renegade. I didn't even pick one word per section. OK, so let me talk about why I picked each one. Um, this first section here where I picked raining and shadow and perfectly silent, um, I chose those words because they it, they kind of explain the setting, and they, the setting is gloomy, right? It's raining, there's shadows, everyone's really quiet, and so it, it sets the reader up to understand, hey, this is a serious poem. This is not some funny Shel Silverstein deal where we're all going to laugh and it's about something hilarious. This is like really sad. People are quiet. It's shadowy. It's raining. Dang, it's gloomy. And then that piece about the people who would rather be somewhere else, uh, that feeds into that. And you know what? Who else would want to be somewhere else? Anne Frank. She didn't want to be hiding in an annex away from everything she loved. You know, she and her family were isolated and they lost everything. They wanted to be somewhere else too. So I feel like those words are important because the tourists want to be somewhere else, but probably Anne Frank would want to be somewhere else too. Um, and then that goes along. Sorry. Look at me. Okay. Somewhere else kind of goes along with empty loft because the loft used to be full of family, you know, togetherness, and now it's empty. The people are gone and many of them died in the Holocaust. So it, it enhances the seriousness. So I'm going to kind of type just so they suck. So somewhere, quote, look at me. Somewhere else and empty loft. Highlight the fact that the Frank and the other people used to be in hiding, and now they are gone. Most of them died. Lost. Um, and Frank's dad actually made it out. He left. Um, and the same thing that skeleton adds. To the, you know, the theme of, or I guess the idea of death and arrows and barbed wire. These are violent words, and they remind me of the horrors of the Holocaust, right? So it just it, it brings to mind everything that was so awful about what Anne Frank experienced and the, the expulsions and forbidding shapes. Maybe you looked up forbidding 
when you were doing your vocab and maybe not, but if it's not a word you know, hostile, unfriendly, dark, grim, right? These are all the L2s that go along with forbidding. And those are violent words. And then reigning is important. Reigning is repeated. And any time a word is repeated in a poem, it's important because poems aren't that long. And so if the author is repeating a word, it's because he or she really wants to remind you that this idea is important. So again, we're reminded of the rain, you know, that people are waiting outside even though the weather isn't good. It's that important for them to experience the, what they're going to experience inside this museum. And it's also calls to mind the sadness of what they're witnessing. And then... Um, And the, um, what do you think? Perseverance of the visitors, right? They're willing to stand through the rain. Oh, hello. Typing, sorry. Teachers aren't perfect, you know? We don't always type the way we should. And then the, pre the pure center of light within the dark circle of his demons, um, it kind of ties it all together. This line shows what really the point of visiting is, right? The people are inspired. They're inspired and they, and they want that for their own lives, right? They want to be able to find the light in their demons. And so they look at how Anne Frank did that, and they look at how Van Gogh did that, and they hope that they'll be able to find peace and joy and light in their own lives.